7 o'clock, it's, it's morning, it's not afternoon or noon time. Um, I will give you a show of my a view. View? Show? I will show you my electronic lab, my hobby room. Um, the door is already open and that's where we go in. The owner of the house before I own it has a second kitchen here in the third floor and I don't need a second kitchen so this becomes my electronic lab. Um, so that's why there's the white things on the wall. I don't want to tear them down. Um, yeah, give it a nice look. So there is the room. When you come in, you already see the main bench with the video light and the yeah, equipment with the tools, with the stuff I need to take videos and to bust down things, to build things. On the bench is already an upcoming project. Well, let me see if I can show you. Um, I try to take it not to make you not too dizzy while taking this video. So I'm using one of those cheap two axis gimbals I bought in China from Banggood, of course. Um, it was 35 euro, so quite cheap. And it's better than holding the camera in the hand. And there's the upcoming project. It is an um, battery powered soldering station again. And this time it has, yeah, I have the place here already to put in an Rooting bug boost converter mod module I ordered but not arrived yet and There's also something to show you the capacity of the battery and a big build and big and beefy battery pack this time 12 18 650 cells um, in three parallel and four serial or four in series and it has a power of 9 amp hours at 16.8 volt and that is something I can show here. Uh, this is the switch for the power supply. It's not there yet. And there's the switch for the soldering iron. And when it comes on and draw energy, you already see at the moment heating up, it needs 1.8 amps, 28 watt. And you see what's still left. And here you see I already get the OLED module for the soldering iron and you see it's heating up. Of course, it's not heating up as fast as um, possible with a um, yeah, normal transformer or something with 24 volt, but it's not too bad and it works very well. Um, so this is an upcoming project. I will show you the rest later. And yeah, I hope the module arrives soon um, because I think I have not enough place here. Um, I didn't know yet how big the uh, power converter or the module is. This module will fit, but they have a second part with the, um, yeah, how to say, with the MOSFETs and uh, induction inductors and such things. I think maybe it's getting not enough place. So I stopped building the case because I'm not sure if this is big enough, but the front panel is already done. And it works very well. I should switch off the um, iron now, otherwise I will burn myself. Maybe. So this is the main bench again. Um, it's self-built with this box from IKEA. Too bad I don't have it anymore. They are very nice for parts like this. Every drawer has something inside. Um, uh, not very sorted. But, oh, these are the screws. That is a very important one. And I find what I search for. There are my self-built tools, the battery-powered soldering station, the version first, and the battery-powered bench power supply. Is This is at the moment my solution to take videos with the phone. You see a wooden construction with two very bright lights. And to be honest, that was the best idea because now I have also and I am doing something, I have very good light to work on things. At the moment I try um, neutral white lights before I use warm white lights. I'm not sure yet what is better. I will see soon. And there's a contract construction to put on, or to put on, I always say put on, um, where I place the phone 
facing down and taking the videos. I put some woods here so it's always at the same position. Then turn on there or turning around here. These are some boxes with parts, new parts, old parts, ripped parts from different things. Some projects, an old Apple laptop, the PowerBook D4 12 inch. Oh, I love this machine. It still works, but it's too slow to do anything. And this is this regal and very old power supply I get from my granddad. Um, still have problems, but when I have a lot of time, I will redo it. So, what else? Oh, up there <coughs> on this shelf are some LED things. ID kits and medical device I scored at eBay for very cheap about 10 bucks still works have nothing to do with it or don't cannot do anything with it but it's fun to take apart another shelf with parts and printer yes one printer is up here the other one is in the basement in our office and there's another bench yeah usually it is very polluted here everywhere are things but I clean it up to show you the lab. So, hmm, I have to move this. I have a window, <laughs> I have a heater. That's are things that I don't have in my lab before. So in winter it was very cold and no light from outside. Uh, here's my trash corner. Um, the trash is downstairs, so I'm collecting it here. Bring it down when I want. Here you see, it was a kitchen before. There's an the, how to say, an older laptop, about eight years old, but still works very fine, very fast. And I'm using it for research and things I need here in the lab. There's another box with parts. There are another shelf with things from my other hobby, long time ago, building paper models. Um, there's a Saturn V5 and an, uh, how to say, the V2, the German rocket V2, also built from Werner von Braun. And then, when I turn here, some older projects, some things I'm not need so often are there. I hope you don't get too dizzy when I move around. Oh, power tools there. Again, the bench. I think I show you everything. I'm not sure. And there's the way out. You see, I have wooden doors. The house is very old. But I like the style of the old house. You see my stairs going down here. All the wood. And that is why sometimes when I walk around, you hear this sound of the wooden floor. Oh, don't go there. It's very messy. When I'm doing something above, up a moment. My daughter sometimes come up with me and playing there. Oh, there's a light switch. And at the moment we use it for storage things. And because we have winter, usually I have the windows closed down so it doesn't get so cold. Yes. We plan this to be guest rooms soon if you want. I'm not sure yet. So switch off the light. And oh, going down. Just show you. Oh, see things from last generation. Yeah, and you hear the nice sound of the stairs. I like the sound of the stairs. Yeah, and everywhere wood. <laughs> I should stop here, okay? So, see you next time. You see upcoming projects. Soon is Christmas time. Um, very busy at work. That's why there was no video for about two weeks. Um, I still have one video I need to cut because I do a whole kit with this soldering iron, with this battery powered soldering iron and there was no problem at all with the power. You can solder for hours and hours and it still have heat. Oh, what I should ask the same. Okay, um, I'm running to 10 minutes. I should stop here. See you next time and maybe yeah, click on the advertisement things so I can buy more parts. <laughs>